GAIN was designed to promote the eco-intensification of aquaculture, to sustainably farm more fish in the same area, to make more with less. Aquaculture needs to contribute decisively for food security. We need to provide more and better aquatic products, respect the environment and create jobs. These goals can be achieved by integrating scientific and technical innovations, new policies and economic instruments. GAIN has reached significant progress towards eco-intensification of aquaculture. Several sites were monitored with sensors, data uploaded in real-time on IBM Cloud and important patterns identified and used to improve production and reduce environmental impacts such as fish feed waste and economic impact in shellfish farming by predicting harmful algae blooms. Low-cost sensors for temperature plus a dashboard for the shellfish industry were developed, as well as cloud platform and dynamic models that deliver services for the optimization of finfish and shellfish farm management. Gain project confirm that it is possible to produce fish using formulation concepts and ingredient baskets that fit into a circular economy framework. Good fish growth with good welfare were achieved in salmon, trout, turbot, sea bass and sea bream. There was also very good acceptance in taste panels for fish fed eco-efficient feeds. Protein hydrolysates from aquaculture byproducts were used, which stimulate feed intake and contain bioactive peptides. Microalgae and macroalgae were used as a source of minerals, in particular selenium. These ingredients, rich in bioactive molecules, may explain the positive effect on fish immunity observed in some of the GAIN fish trials. GAIN has implemented circular economy principles with innovations that valorize wastes and byproducts. An innovative drying technology was used to transform both aquaculture sludge and mortalities into biofertilizer. This technology is already in use in salmon and bream and bass industries. Seaweed can remove dissolved nutrients in aquaponics, increasing the quality of the effluent while producing seaweed biomass for fish feeds. Mussel shells can be used as biofilters and seaweed seedling substract to replace the currently used plastic materials. Oyster shells were applied in beer making. These shells were used in the mashing and clarification of beer and the process is now commercially available. GAIN developed a range of digital tools to improve communication among producers, retailers and consumers. The Sailfish B2B mobile and desktop app connects producers and buyers, so to reduce market stickiness and lower costs. The Goodfish B2C platform connects consumers to aquaculture products, informing consumers about the fish they eat and allowing them to provide feedback on their culinary experience. The EISI Eco-Intensification Sustainability Index, a comprehensive composite indicator for the eco-intensified products, provides benchmarks for assessing the ecological intensification of supply chains, integrating social responsibility, economic resilience and welfare assessments. In addition, GAIN organized a series of courses and workshops to disseminate GAIN vision of aquaculture ecological intensification. Most are available online on our website. The GAIN project paves the way for increasing production volumes, the profitability and the competitiveness of the aquaculture sector, while ensuring sustainability, fish welfare and compliance with public regulations on food safety and environment. This needs to be supported by public policies. The GAIN white paper for policymakers provides key findings, recommendations and valorization pathways for fostering the ecological intensification of aquaculture in Europe and beyond. The GAIN White Paper on Policy Legislation contains recommendations for policy changes which could promote aquaculture ecological intensification by enhancing circularity. GAIN proposes shellfish farming bioextraction of nitrogen and phosphorus as an ecosystem service to mitigate eutrophication of coastal waters. 
Gain estimates that only nitrogen removal by shellfish in Europe is worth at least 18 billion euro. Gain is leaving a legacy message that aquaculture can be more eco-efficient through technical improvements, but also through improvements in policies and legislation. This depends also on building trust among diverse stakeholders, communities, consumers, scientists and decision makers.